the tyres on though. Look at this. Greg Moore trying to go for second. Brian Hurt. Oh no! Brian, you so nearly took out your team boss. He braked late to stop Greg coming past him. And he so nearly took Bobby off with him. Yeah, he threw the car sideways to not hit Bobby Rahal there. And he was thinking of his teammate. He knew he was going to be. Oh, oh goodness, that's right Alex there. Barron in the uh, Eagle Toyota. What happened there? I have no idea. He must, the yellow flags must have been out. Whether Alex had some sort of mechanical problem coming down there, it's tough to say. But uh, certainly he lands up there. Look at that, right on top of the car. Uh, of wow. Brian Herder, but Herder, he, uh, he was under pressure there from Greg Moore. He tried to brake as late as he could, and clearly he left his braking too late. And at the last minute, he knew he was going to hit uh, his teammate, Bobby Rahal. Hitting anybody is not good news, and particularly his team leader, Bobby Rahal. So he just threw the car sideways. He just clipped Rahal, but luckily not nearly as hard as he would have done if he'd have just slammed into the back of him uh, uh, on, on all four wheels, pointing in a straight way. So uh, a shame for Herder, a mistake by Herder there, for sure. Bad mistake, really. Uh, he was under pressure from Greg Moore. Well, let's take a look. Apparently the driver is okay. We can see him nodding around. And we've heard uh, a good report. Now, there's Herter. He so nearly hits the back of Ray Hall. As you yeah. say, chucks it out of the way. But watch behind, Jeremy. What is going on that uh, Alex Barron ended up launching himself down? Can we spot it in the bottom of the picture here? We see a few cars heading down the hill. We see PJ go through. Well, we don't see what started that. He just suddenly launched himself. Those safety workers are lucky as well because, of course, they were attending to Brian Herter. Yeah, and I, I look at that again on the replay, and, you know, you can see the way Moore and Herter closed off on Bobby Rahal. Bobby was very conservative down there in Turn 5. I think he took uh, his young teammate there by surprise. And there's Herter looking around him here, and he puts a look at him. You can just see him brace himself there. He sees Barron coming down towards him, and the corner workers... Well, the cart safety team there, they uh, luckily were just, just paying enough attention to their left there to look up and see Alex Brown flying down towards it. Yeah, frightening, frightening accident indeed. Look at this, that's the moment he braced himself. Natural thing to put his hands up, of course, is probably the worst thing he can do, but... Uh, yeah, he didn't, uh, I don't, he didn't put him on top of his no, helmet. That no. wouldn't have been smarter. He just put, put him up into his chin. I think mainly to get his hands away from the steering wheel. There's not, not too many places you can put your hands in that uh, situation. There's not much room there, of course. Uh, there is Alex Barron out of the car, out of the eagle the shame uh, that eagle's been running awfully well for the first couple of races it ran made its debut just last week at uh, mid ohio and it had been running pretty well this weekend as well fitted with that new toyota rv8d engine but uh, i don't know what happened there maybe he just lost it on the braking there cold tires of course i mean just coming out of the, out of the pits and uh, you're braking there from over 200 miles an hour uh, into that tight second gear left hander at turn five now they've got the problem of trying to get the thing off the car of brian Herzog, of course is still stuck down underneath that car and it uh, can't be a particularly pleasant experience to have a car sitting on top of you it's great to hear that he's not hurt but uh, they've now got to try and get that off without uh, doing any further damage either to him or well not really matter about the car i think they're pretty badly damaged already they've also got a truck in there that perhaps they can lift it off i think that's probably a more sensible idea and uh, well we are certainly seeing plenty of incident again here aren't we bobby rahal is uh, now uh, up front. Well, he's been into the pits, actually. Bobby has made his stop now. He's decided to take advantage of this yellow to make his pit stop. That means that Greg Moore is now a race leader who has not decided to come into the pits yet. That's an interesting move. Andretti's moved up to second. Again, here we go. Brian breaking late. Yeah, but look at, his, look at his car in relation to the others there. And I, the, he's, he's certainly breaking late, but Bobby has been pretty conservative there. And uh, Greg Moore got out of the brakes, got onto the brakes a little bit earlier than Herder. Yeah, Herder certainly braked too late there. And you can see him turn the car left to try and avoid his teammates and then take the consequences after that and uh, look at Brian Herder there bracing himself as he sees Barron's car coming down at goodness knows what speed straight at him yeah, I mean, that must have been one of the most frightening experiences of his racing a career, I should think. It's one thing when you're having a shunt, and uh, to a certain extent, you're just hoping that it all ends peacefully, as Michael Andretti said last week. But when you see someone heading straight towards your car, and there's nothing you can do about it, that really is a nasty situation. There, they lift the car away. Brian is OK. That's the good news. And this race will continue.